Hello, my name is Michael, and this video is part two of the MeanStack RESTful API tutorial. In the first video, we laid the foundations for our contact list app. In this second video, we're going to practice putting data into our app with AngularJS and Node.js. Then, in the next video, we'll learn how to pull in data from MongoDB, an actual database. So, let's get started now. Step number 21. We're going to now create dummy data to populate and test our table. We'll replace this data later with data from MongoDB, but for now, let's just try putting in some dummy data. To do this, in our controller.js file, let's create a few objects with properties name, email, and number. So let's type this. Uh, let's have person1 equals uh, squiggly bracket. Put the semicolon at the end there. We're going to have his name be Tim. His email will be Tim at email.com. His number will be in quotation marks 111111111. We're going to create person number two. Person number two will be named uh, Emily. Her email will be Emily at email2.com. Her number will be 222. 222, 2222. And then we're going to create a person number three. Person three will have the name um, John. John. Email will be John at email3.com. His number will be 333. 333, 3333. Okay, so now that's going to be our three contacts. Now, the next thing we're going to do is create an array with these objects with the variable contact list by typing uh, var contact list. To make an array, we use square brackets like that. Uh, so it's going to be person one, comma person two, comma person three, three, and so now we've created our dummy data. Step number 22, we're going to put our dummy data into our table now. To put data from our controller.js file into our index.html file, we're going to use something called scope or dollar sign scope, which according to the AngularJS website is the glue between application controller and the view. The view in our case is our index.html file. So now let's first include scope or dollar sign scope as an argument in our app control function like that. And then underneath our dummy data, let's type this. It's going to be dollar sign scope dot contact list equals contact list. The dollar sign scope dot contact list allows us to now use the variable contact list in our view or our index.html file. So now let's go to our index.html file and type the following right underneath the T head section. So we're going to create a new T body section right underneath here. So let's do uh, T body, and then we're going to create a TR. And this TR is going to have um, an ng dash repeat here. And I'll explain this after I type this. A contact in contact list. Now I'll explain this in a little while too. Um, then we're going to create uh, three TDs, one with contact dot name in double brackets. Um, next one will be um, contact dot email in double brackets. And the third one will be contact dot number in double brackets. So here's what we just did. Uh, the ng repeat is an angular feature that will copy our three objects into three separate rows which saves us from writing a lot of code. The contact in contact list allows us to separate each of our contacts in our contact list variable. We could use any word. We could use um, you know, person. We're just using contact here, as long as they're the same here. And the contact.name, contact.email, and contact.number in the double brackets will be filled with the data from each of our contacts from the contact list variable. So now, if we refresh our browser, making sure that our server is still running, um, we will now see our dummy data nicely formatted in our contact list app table. 
and plus it's nicely formatted by bootstrap as you can see with uh, these lines here so that's great step number 23 transition to getting our dummy data from the server instead this is still an intermediate step before fully transitioning to mongodb but now let's use a get request to retrieve our dummy data from the server instead of from the controller to do this we're going to use dollar sign http get from the controller side which will send a request to the server and the app and we're going to use app.get from the server side which will respond by sending back the data that we want so first let's go to our controller.js file and we're going to add dollar sign http uh, right after the scope at the top as an argument for our app control function and then so dollar sign http and then we're going to type this above our dummy data so we're going to type dollar sign http dot get parentheses quotation mark slash contact list quotation mark parentheses the slash contact list is the route that we're going to create to get our data from we'll come back to our controller in a bit but now let's go to our server file and type this underneath the app dot use part let's type uh, app dot get the same route so the contact slash contact list right here quotation mark comma we're going to type function req for request res for response and then uh, brackets there and inside this function we're going to type console dot log um, I received a get request so basically this tells the server to listen for the get request for our created contact list route and when it receives the request it's going to print I received a get request to the console in the command prompt so now let's test to make sure that we're receiving the get request by restarting our server and then refreshing our browser um, so let's do that so control C and then node server and then now let's refresh our browser and now in our command prompt we should see this message I received a get request so our code is working correctly right now so now let's copy our dummy data from our controller file to our server file including the variable line but not including the dollar sign scope line so let's copy um, this data right here and I'm just gonna cut it so it's um, gone and we don't need this line anymore so let's erase that um, so we're gonna go back to our server file we're going to put this underneath the console log here so let's just paste that there and now in our server.js file let's write underneath the var contact list line this code right here and I'll explain it in a little bit we're going to type res for response dot json which is the format that the data is in contact list so basically what this does is it's going to respond to the get request by sending back the contact list data in a json format which the controller can then use so now let's go back to our controller and tell the HTTP get what to do when it receives back this data so let's add the following code right next to the HTTP dot get line we're gonna put dot success uh, parentheses function um, response and then brackets right there and so now we're gonna tell it what to do it's going to do uh, console we're going to first do a console log to test our code. So console.log. Um, I got the data I requested. And we're also going to type underneath here dollar sign scope dot contact list equals response, which is what uh, we received from the data. So what this code should do now is uh, the console log will tell us that we successfully got the data we requested. And the dollar sign scope dot contact list equals response line will put the data into our HTML file or our browser so now let's restart our server type in node server and then let's refresh our browser and now we should see both messages show up so let me pull them side by side here we have I received a get request and then here in the browser we have I got the data I requested okay so now that we've practiced getting data from both our controller and from our server it's time to now get our data from an actual database. We're going to stop here for this video, and so be sure to check out the third one to learn how to use MongoDB to get data from an actual database. Thanks for watching, and I will see you then.